archives and oh 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 no terrorist group deadsec responsible for deadly bombings in london dalton wolf dead i leave you people alone for a second and you immediately cock it all up so bagley bags if deadsec didn't bomb the city then who did there's a gap in my memory after dalton well let's be honest after i disarmed the bomb at parliament i'm missing information about what happened after i was taken offline but from what I can infer, an unknown hacker group identified only as Zero Day was involved. I believe this Zero Day staged the attacks and framed DeadSec for their dirty work. Come to my terminal. Sabine is requesting a video call. Patching in Sabine Brandt now. I suggest you listen very closely to anything she has to say. There you are. I'm glad you made it. Backley. God, it's good to hear your demented little voice. Is your memory intact? Not even slightly. The last record I have is of our HQ being raided. My only lead is a group known as Zero Day. Ring any bells? No. But the HQ was attacked by some men in black. The same that were at Parliament. Maybe working together. We didn't stand a chance. They just gunned everyone down. Oh, my days. How does a girl like you get out of that clash? I managed to escape through the sewers to Camden. A contact smuggled me out of the city, and I've been hiding out in the north since. Prudent. Your profile is red-flagged as a high-priority target in the city's surveillance system. Even a partial recognition hit would have you hunted down and shot on sight. Yeah, bruv. Look, it's hard out here for dead sec, man. I've always wanted to roll with you lot, but I don't want to get murked or anything, innit? Listen, if anyone knows anything about risks, it's me. I lost everything and everyone. But it comes down to this. London is in a death spiral. And if DeadSec can't pull it out, trust me, no one can. The city needs a resistance. And it starts with you. What do you say? Well, I guess if I do get them, it's a go fucking blazing. Excellent. New user registered. Welcome to DeadSec. Now, it would be irresponsible of us to release you naked and mewling into the wild. You'll find equipment around the safe house that are essential items in your DeadSec kit. I'm Claire Waters, and we've been to... We have a sophisticated system for hiding your identity from facial recognition tech. It's called a mask. And while we're here, perhaps we can talk about updating your wardrobe. I mean, look at you. Come on. You've got all these fancy new toys, but it's also important to know the basics. You need to learn how to throw a punch and how to take one. Albion will escalate if you come at them with a gun and shoot you down. We want to avoid collateral damage. In DeadSec, we try to use guns only as a last resort. Have you already met Connie Robinson? She owns the pub and is an old DeadSec contact. Start with some basic strikes. Hit me. Don't be shy. You 
want to get in under my block. Find the weak point. Yes, nice one. You're getting it. Quick on your feet now. You want to create distance. That's it. Yes, nice one. Coming up in today's episode of The Upload, we're talking about how Bagley... yourself in the face or get shot for filling out a gun too early? Brilliant. I'm working out how we find Zero Day and ruin their day, but I need someone with actual legs to do the legwork. Hope you're ready. We have some damage control to do if we want to change the perception that we're a bunch of violent thugs. I'll let you be the judge of how best to handle yourself, but remember, you represent DedSec now. All right, let's do this. Where do we start? Make no mistake, London is under occupation. Armed mercenaries patrol our streets, allegedly to keep people safe, but really they're keeping the people scared. Oh, fucking Albion. They're not keeping us safe, they're keeping us unsafe. Am I right? So, we have to ignite the will to resist in the people of London by showing them that Albion aren't the solution. They're the problem. For that, we'll need information. I'm pushing two sets of coordinates to your optic. Cheers, Bagley. I've identified two opportunities. One, we're going to disrupt some Albion propaganda. Remind the people it's not Albion's way or the highway. Two, we need intel about Albion operations if we want to throw a spanner in their plans. You game?
Oh, fuck yeah. I'll throw spanners all over the fucking place. Brilliant. Let's get the people of London on board. Albion have established an operational base in the Royal Court of Justice. Ruff, this is bollocks. With Albion in control of the courts, there's like no way for anyone to have a fair trial anymore. Exactly. But it likely means there's information here about how Albion are targeting dissenters, the who and the why. We need that data if we're going to disrupt their operation. Bags, talk to me. A list of what Albion consider high-value targets that are threats to the peaceful running of London. See here, a journalist, and this one runs a community shelter. Good God, bar your doors. What the... Shit. All suspected of sowing rebellion or exhibiting tendencies towards... <laughs> Albion is systematically arresting people even before they rise up. Joke's on them. This list can actually help us find like-minded allies willing to help us. Well done. Now, let's disrupt some of Albion's propaganda and give some hope to the people.
I'm allowing this Albion shit. They're all over the walls and the screens. They the boss, and they want us to know it. There's going to be that much less once you're done here. Let's give Camden a break from these eyesores. All right, cool, I'm all over it. Hijack that scissor lift. You could use it to access the rooftop. Nicely done. That'll get people's attention. Let them know someone is standing up to Albion. Light the spark that they can stand up to. If nothing else, it'll relieve their eye strain. Now what? We're already seeing results from what you've done. That list we found named a journalist in Camden who's been investigating Albion. We reached out and he's got information that can help us. I think you should meet with him. Submitted these right now. What's up? Your recruit's been sticking it to Albion. Can't believe someone else is. Thought I was alone, right? 
Not doing much, just putting the word out. But you, taking action, mate. That's how it's got to be. Do you know what I mean? Otherwise, Albion gonna get bigger and better, and then it's too late. So what's up? Almost got clip finding this. All of Albion's operational data for the entire city. Convoy routes, surveillance targets, assets. It's all there. Thinking you can make good use of that. You bet your ass. Here's a sample. Albion's closed King's Cross to the public, right? But what people don't know is that they're using it as their logistics centre. Materials, troops, whatever. A lot of it runs through there. You want to give the people a huge boost? Hit that place. Put it out of commission and you'll severely hamstring Albion's operations here in Camden. Hell, everywhere. We've got us a plan then. The demand is operative are all consuming, so taking app gigs is a good way to make some extra quid that works around your new schedule. Lots of people will pay well to have their sensitive packages handled with care, and some will even pay you for deliveries. Ha ha! Albion's operational plans are just what we needed to really get some traction. We'll have to take a close look at this. Now, how do we take King's Cross offline? Albion's housed a map. Into that generator ain't gonna be easy. They've locked it up tighter since I last saw. Ah, uh, the fuck do I do? My news drones are still in here. They should be functional. You can use one of them. Probably have better luck piloting it too, yeah? Well, causing a power surge in a hybrid power generator isn't like making a toasty. We're going to need detailed specifications. All right, let's check that shit out. Yo, you man, look at this. Cool, looks bloody complicated. News he's got a pretty functional camera. Would a picture do you, Bagley? It would indeed. According to this, there's an override code that'll get us into the generator's system. That's it. Use the code on the generator and I can trigger a power surge. It should be enough to take King's Cross offline. And the rail system too. Here we go. of information out of St Pancras. Albion convoys, informants, gear, you name it. Everything we need to ignite the people of London, like we did in Camden. Derail Albion's operations and give the people a reason to rise up borough by borough. The more we do that, the more we'll get allies flocking to the cause. We'll show London that DedSec is here for them. That was off the chain, mate. I knew DedSec weren't the bad guys Albion was saying. Now the rest of Camden will too. Thanks. Thanks. Now that you've shown the borough what DedSec is really all about, there are going to be folks wanting to join up. A lot of people have been looking for a way to fight back. In fact, there's one in particular I suspect will contact you very soon. I happen to know they're champion at the bit. Fuck yeah. Welcome to the party, cuz.
Fuck yeah. Need more hench peeps, not afraid to take up the fight. Bang in. Hype to expose the bastard that's in charge, yeah? Oh, it's brutal. Well, fuck me, you're still alive. I owe Zabina tenor. Not only that, but your resistance handiwork just opened up a whole new source of information. So now I spy with my hypothetical eye something interesting at the Ministry of Civic Management. No rest for the wicked. What's up? The Signals Intelligence Response Service, or SIRS, or the Earl Grey Gestapo, have developed a surveillance technology called AR Reconstruction. It's the leading edge of privacy rights violation, and thus it could be very useful in our attempts to find Zero Day. I'm here. In theory, the AR reconstruction should allow me to use various sources of surveillance data to rebuild past events. Access a data relay, and I can scrape all the metadata for this area. That's it. Now, let's take this autocratic wet dream for a test drive. something over there. 